Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, you know, I was just driving here this morning and I was behind this wishy-washy driver who was kind of in the middle of two deals. Dude, pick a side, man. Either turn or go straight. And I'm like, man, this actually brings me back to when I was a, a kid playing tennis. I'm going to expand on that, though, and explain what I'm talking about. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So um, before I get going today, uh, coffee sponsor of the day is Lisa from the UK. Thank you, Lisa, for sponsoring my hot, piping hot cup of dark roast from Pete's today. Greatly appreciate it. If you want to sponsor my coffee of the day, network is buy me a coffee forward slash tennis spin. Thank you in advance. All right. So what am I talking about? Okay. So this morning, this minivan was in front of me for probably four blocks. And I'm like, what the hell's going on here? So it's like every time we get to an intersection, the van slows down. And I'm like, there's no light. Just go, right? And then he's kind of in between. He's not really in the center of the lane because it's a one lane road. So he's kind of to the right of it. So my guess is that, do I turn here or do I go straight? Is this the turn? Or do I go straight for four blocks? So, and I'm like, right, dude, let's go. And then so on the fourth block, he's still in my freaking way. So I finally just go around him, right? And he finally turns right. But I feel like you should have just tried to figure it out a little bit better. Maybe use a little technology and it'll tell you when to turn. Right. Because as soon as he as soon as I passed him, I'm like, whatever happened to those GPS things? They're in the cars. You can use your phone. Right. So. But it'll tell you what to do. OK, why am I ranting like this? Well, it actually brought the, the weird thing is it brought me back to my junior tennis days because when I was playing this one coach told me, like after I nailed the net, um, hit it long a couple of times, um, this was the first time he saw me play. And he goes, what were you doing? You know, when you were trying to go down the line or try to go cross court here, and it was a short ball and it was literally supposed to be a put away. And I was like, I saw the guy like I, I, out of the corner of my eye, I saw him take two steps to the left or take two steps to the right. I was going to go down the line, but because I saw that, I changed my mind kind of mid stroke. Right. So that kind of brought me back to that because you can't be wishy washy on the court or right? you can't be the stupid driver, not, not knowing where the heck you're going. If you're in the middle of your swing, and the guy takes a step to the left or to the right and you actually catch this and you alter your swing, right? What's going to happen if you do that? You're probably going to mess up, right? It's going to be a higher chance that you mess, that you will mess up because you're lined up for a specific shot in your head. You've kind of committed to it already, but because you saw something, you're going to now alter it when you're lined up already, when you're ready to hit that shot. Does that, does that make sense to you? Like, don't be that driver. Don't be that driver. All right. Go straight, go straight. And then maybe make, if you're going to make a mistake, at least you commit it to the mistake. So if you overshot your street, right, go around the freaking block, right? But at least you overshot the street. Right. So what I'm saying is if you've committed to the shot, commit to the shot. And then 
live with that because you committed to that and then be ready for the next shot. So what the coach told me was, pick your shot. If you've already committed to it, do not deviate. Just roll with it. Even if he's going to be there, it's okay. Your shot will be stronger with more force. Even though it comes back, you'll be prepared for the next one. But if you second guess that shot, though, it's a greater chance that you're going to mess it up. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? So when you've committed to your shot, just make it. Just make it. Because it's going to be a better shot than you trying to outthink your opponent. Okay? And always, obviously, prepare for the next shot. So, which is... Which gets me to a different point. I've also been a, behind other drivers in which they kind of pretend to turn right and signal and then decide to go straight, right? So you have to prepare for that too. So let's say you do your thing, you know, you commit to your shot and they catch it. You have to prepare for the next shot, right? Always prepare for the next shot. And anticipate that it's going to come back. Okay? So think, think ahead and prepare. Okay? So it's like driving. Those of you guys who drive, right? You want to know where you're going. You want to commit to knowing where you're going. And you don't want to be behind that person that's don't know where they're going, but you will be. So you're going to have to anticipate all your opponent drivers out there kind of not doing the right thing. And you and having to anticipate that you may have to deviate from the norm. OK, so I feel like driving these days is like a tennis match. You kind of don't know what you get. Sometimes your opponents are kind of all over and and don't really follow a certain script. That makes sense? All right. So guys, be careful out there. It's dangerous. Like, I want everybody use some GPS and know where they're going, please. Right? Commit to your shot, guys. Commit to your tennis shot. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.